Hey, I'm the Gamer from Mars, and today I'm going to review Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for the Game Boy Color. People say the home console version of this game is one of the greatest extreme sports games of all time, but Quentin says otherwise about the Game Boy Color version. He hated this game so much that he left a note with the game telling me never to send it back to him. So let's see whose side I'm on in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. When you start up the game, there's five areas to go to. First off is career mode, in which you must select a course and complete the goals listed in a limited amount of time, such as getting a certain amount of points or collecting all the letters in a word. After completing the goals listed, you win new courses in skateboards. In free skate, you could play any course for an unlimited amount of time. This is a good way to practice or just goof around. Next up is photo album, in which you could view pictures of skateboard moves. But all the pictures are in black and white. The reason I'm guessing they did this is because you could hook it up to the Game Boy printer which only printed black and white photos. But still, the name of the system is the Game Boy Color for a reason. Because there's no battery inside the game, you must enter passwords. This game is a perfect example of a password that's longer than it needs to be. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to fit the code in one line instead of two. The final mode in the game is Credit, which shows you the credits of the game, with an S at the end. So why does the menu say credit? It's amazing that in the time it took to make this game, nobody questioned the spelling on the main menu. Now that we're finished with that, let's get to the game. Before you start off, you have to choose between 14 different characters. But all of them are very similar, so you might as well choose Tony Hawk, because that's what the game's titled. After selecting a player, you must choose a skateboard, which does matter, so choose wisely. Now just select the skateboard park and you're on your way. The controls are very simple. Move left to go left or move right to go right. A to jump and B to stop. You're able to do most of the things you could in the console version, like grind or do combos, but everything else feels simplified. The main way to earn easy points in this game is to go in a half pipe, build up momentum until you get mega airtime so you can rack up some huge combos. Since there's only a few buttons on the Game Boy Color, there's only so many tricks you could do, but that's understandable. There's two different kinds of stages in this game, 2D maps and 3D, but I'd stick with the 2D stages because you have a very bad sense of depth in the 3D ones, so you could have a very hard time trying to align up with an object. The graphics are okay, but nothing great, and the music fits the game well, but it's not memorable, which I feel is a problem because I remember playing the original console version and I had the song stuck in my head for a week. I think I've played the game long enough to give a fair verdict. Overall, I feel that they've done a great job remaking Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for the Game Boy Color. But that's the problem, it doesn't convert to a Game Boy Color game well. When playing this game, I never felt the accomplishment of racking up a ton of points without crashing, or sitting there hours on end trying to beat my brother's high score so I could regain my title as King of the Skateboard Park. I'm going with Quentin on this one and saying you should skip it. Not because it's a horrible game, but who wants to destroy their memories of playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater? Thanks for watching and for more video game reviews, go to artmccarthy.com.